A scotch, please, Betty. Large one, love. No, you better make it a small one. I want to keep my wits about me this afternoon. Got to keep an eye on those girls of mine. <laughs> and uh, what do you mean by that, Mr. Baldwin? I mean, you were hard at work when I left, yet you still managed to get in here before me. Well, happen you stopped to talk to somebody on the way. Yeah, and happen you girls are quicker than grease lightning at down in tools, especially when my back's turned. <sighs> Dardo. Yep. Yes, lovey. What can I do for you? <clears throat> I don't think we've seen you in here before. We've been looking at the house. <laughs> oh, well, you can but do what? worse, lovey. It's a very fair price. But what, uh, what about the nerves? Oh, <laughs> salt of the earth. You'll find better. Only we just wondered if we'd fit in round here. Well, if you're the type, it's very happy to stick your nose in other folks' business. No, we're not. <laughs> in that case, lovely. Forget it. Now then, did you want a drink? Or did you just come in here for a warm? Because Alec will not be best pleased if you did. What's the drink like? Alice, you're going to be best. I mean, but you can have what you like. I'm beginning to feel at home already. Ah. Oh. <laughs> 